My name is James Hiley. I'm uh, a student at the University of Sheffield. I'm studying politics. I'm in my third year. Yeah. We're outside the Sheffield Central Library. It's pretty much in between the Winter Gardens and the Lyceum Theatre, so it's on Tudor Square. So it's Art Deco design. It's built in the 1930s. It's a grade two listed building, I believe. It's much loved by the people of Sheffield. I think Sheffield was actually the first city in Yorkshire to have a public lending library space. So James, can you tell us about the announcement last week by the council about the central library? Yeah, so I mean it came as a bit of a surprise to me, but the council announced that um, I think in return for a £220 million investment by a, a Chinese firm that uh, the library will be sold off and turned into a five-star luxury hotel. Um, the details as to where a future library would be built is unclear. Um, and actually, Keith Crenshaw, who's the former director of libraries at the council, said that he wasn't even sure that the other library would go ahead and that even if it did, that um, it might be done to an unsatisfactory level and that actually it might not find the funding that it needs. So we are really working to protect the library full stop. You know, this is, uh, this is a really important decision and really important that we do something about it while we can. Okay, there's no real time scale being put forward by the council. So there's a public meeting so we might find out more then, but as of yet, you know, it's quite uncertain and a lot of people are, are worried about it. Yeah, it did seem to come out of the blue, didn't it? I didn't know there was even a question. Yeah, and especially given that five days previous to this, you had the dawn raid on Rustling's Road about the trees, you know, with two pensioners, pensioners uh, ladies who were dragged out of bed at five in the morning, chucked in a police cell and you thought five days later this announcement you think of, have the council completely lost the plot you know it's really out of the blue. I believe there's an online petition to save the library. There is yeah um, there's also a Facebook group if you just search for Protect Sheffield Central Library and the petition is actually called Save Sheffield Central Library it's on uh, 38 degrees so yeah go ahead and sign it there's about 8,000 people already signed it and actually 5,000 was the initial target and that means that the petition will be presented to the City Council, which is really exciting, you know, it's the first step, hopefully, to saving the library. Is that on the 7th of December? I, it's, yes, it is, it's the 7th of December, yeah, it'll be yeah. presented to Council. I, I, as far as I'm aware, that anyone can turn up and listen. We're in the Central Library at the moment. What would you say the main reasons why it's good for Sheffield if it stays as it is? I mean, we touched on the history of the building, and it's, um, it is a much-loved building, it's a beautiful building, but also, I think, more importantly, it's a community space. So last month I was involved in a human library event it was set up by Faithstar and basically that was people of all different backgrounds coming and certain people are books, which you can, I was a book for young people and you can turn up and meet people of different backgrounds, different faiths, different genders and it's just I think really indicative of the value of the community and you know, we're talking about this library as if it's some commodity that can be bought and sold, as if it's just a building with books in. But actually it's a community space and it's something that should be protected. You know, it belongs to the community and to replace it with a five-star luxury hotel, you know, really beggars belief. I think the art gallery yeah. will stay, but um, John George Graves, the person who actually uh, helped us build this library, you know, spent his whole life as a philanthropist um, investing in communities of Sheffield and uh, I think the, the Graves Trust you know set up in his name haven't really commented they've said they welcome investment but they haven't really commented uh, personally although I don't speak for him myself I think he'd be turning in his grave you know he, he invests in community libraries he invests in the students union in learning in the city and you know in such a central location a hub of learning a hub of community to see it dismantled you know in the name of people who, who probably won't live in Sheffield, you know, there's people, wealthy people coming, staying in a five-star luxury hotel, and the community are being pushed out. And I think that really says something about the priority of this council, you know, that they'll push out a community space, even if they build a, a new library, you know, it's being pushed away from the city centre and Chinese investment coming in, and that really does tell you something. You know, when I heard the decision, I set up a Facebook page, and the response was unbelievable, you know, there's someone who said that their first and fondest memories were of the library, they bring their children here, and said they were horrified that, you know, they couldn't bring their ch grandchildren here in the future, you know? And other people talking about the creeping privatisation of public space more generally in Sheffield, and PFI contracts and the like. And, and you think, you know, these people's community is under threat. And in a time of austerity, 
you know, when a lot of people, even in Sheffield, are being forced to go to food banks to survive, for a lot of people, community is all that they've got left. And to put that under threat, you know, it's a really dangerous decision. But as we speak now, there's people walking in and out, you know, and, and you think there must be a way to fund it. There must be a way, other than pushing it away from the city centre. Nobody's saying we don't want investment into Sheffield. We do, but that can't come at the expense of the community. You know, we want a place of learning, a place of community, and this provides just that. It's in a perfect location, beautiful building, and you just think there must be another way than just deferring to the needs of the Chinese developers. The Facebook page is called Protect Sheffield Central Library. You can go on facebook.com forward slash protect Sheffield Library. You can look for the petition, as I say, just search on Google, save Sheffield Central Library in 38 degrees. We've got some exciting events hopefully coming up. I mean, the initial plan is that we don't need any further events because the petition is presented to council and they reconsider. You know, we're still in the planning stage, so there's plenty of time for us to get organised. still plenty of time to overturn this decision. No, you know, concrete commitments have been made yet by the council. Yeah, the library.